Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Um, dear friends, uh, let's uh, look into another problem. Uh, this is a very popular problem. Okay, Many of you who have been doing uh, programming in C, many a times you get confused on the output of this particular uh, print apps. Okay? And uh, the reason I use print apps uh, for many of us, you know, if you see that I write a small piece of code, it's a really small piece of code in C language. And then I, I try to test out your understanding using print apps, okay? Because print app will allow you to print the way you are expecting the output to be. If you know what is the output, then you pretty much know what the expressions, initialization or assignments are, okay? So let's look into the first one. I have declared in this example three integer variables x, y, and z. And then I am assigning a value 12, 12, and 12. Okay. And you are simply going to display this output. So, time for you to analyze the code. Pause this video. Analyze. Write your answers for these three of them. And then run it in your system you might get some surprises, okay? If you don't get a surprise, then I think you are a slightly keen observer, you know, you understand uh, the number systems. I think that's a hint also. So you understand the number systems. And as a programmer in C, especially in C programming, where you're working on systems, where you're working on kernel, you're working on very good design, you need to understand number system. If you're a device driver writer, if you're a writer who's doing embedded programming, right, you need to really understand the number systems, okay? Because it will help you a lot in terms of not introducing a bug when you code, as well as debug some of the fundamental issues or some, some issues which is bugging the entire, you know, uh, product development actually because of some of the mis misunderstanding which you might see in this output. Okay, so without wasting much time now, let's uh, go into the lab and then we will see the output. All right, so I'm going into the lab now. We will run this code and uh, we will see the output. Okay, so at this point of time, uh, we have uh, this program and for the sake of readability, I am just, uh, you know, adding a new line. It's always a good thing to add a new line for your code actually. Okay. So now I've done three assignments. You can see them. Let me simply run the code and then we will uh, see the output. Okay. So when you run the output, uh, you might get a slightly different answer. Okay. I have seen for many of you, I think two of these answers are correct, but for few of you, one of the answer is always, always wrong. And then very few of you, I think you are right in all three of them. Okay. So if you're right in all three of them, I think you pretty much understand the number systems. But if you think you are wrong in some of these, especially either this or definitely the last one, right, then you have to understand what it is. So let me explain it further, why the answer are the way it is displayed. Okay. So this is very important. This is very, very important. Okay. So I think x equal to 12, all of you know, it's basically a number system, which is well known, well understood by everybody. It's a decimal number system, right? What is the second one? Second number, second one is slightly explicit here. Explicit means, you know, it's written at zero x, which is an hexadecimal number, right? Hexadecimal number is something to the base 16, right? It's always base 16. So when you focus on this, this is nothing but when you do uh, you know uh, extrapolation in the number system it is 2 into right 16 raised to the power 0 plus so i am looking into you know expanding it 2 into this is 2 right 2 into 16 raised to the power 0 and again 1 into 16 raised to the power 1 right raised to the power 1 so if you see this further this is basically nothing it the first one is uh, just 2 and the second one is uh, 16 to the power 1, which is 16 into 1, 16, right? So you get 16 and then the final answer is 18. 
So you see that it is basically 18 as the answer for the second one. This is the one, right? So, so, so the important thing here, remember, is you need to understand number systems. Don't just look at the screen and think that you pretty much know it. No, it's not true. And then if your understanding is not correct, it, you must know that it is 18. You know, it should be as simple as that. Okay. So, and this is the easier way for you to kind of, you know, figure it out actually. Okay. Number systems, right? So, this is popularly known as your uh, hexa, hexa decimal number system, right? Number system. This is hexadecimal number system. This is actually decimal uh, number system, right? Okay. Um, what's the last one, right? Last one is uh, this, and then I did a zero here, right? And zero, one, two. So a lot of people think zero is inconsequential. It has no meaning. Zero means zero. So just ignore that, you know, because some people start thinking that you know this is your unit and this is your tens place and this is your hundreds place right so the way we write in a piece of paper in a decimal number system but technically yeah what is the reason that i have added a zero here zero is here not for fun zero is here for programming actually okay so what it means is it means that yeah we have to figure out what it is actually isn't it so if i if i do like this you will see that so if i do like this what you will see here is it is an octal number system i repeat it's an octal okay it's an octal number system so octal number system so zero as a prefix right this is the one that you are seeing is zero here right this is zero zero as a prefix denote that the number following it is basically a octal number system it's an octal number system right so in this number system when you try to um, uh, arrive at the answer it is going to be different right so when we evaluated this number now like the way we evaluated for an hexadecimal it is again 2 into 8 raised to the power 0 so this is the first one right okay this is we are seeing the least significant uh, uh, portion of this basically right so we are going from this direction actually okay so 8 2 into 8 to the power 0 plus 1 into 8 to the power 1 right this is a number system there is nothing that i am doing anything this is the number system right okay this not by me this is the number system so the first one is anyway 2 and the second one if you see this is nothing but a 8 right so when you do this what you basically get you are getting a value as 10 right so this is known as octal number system so I think uh, the, the important thing here is you need to understand the number system. Then I think some people ask me, do we have a representation like a binary number, right? So can we have a binary number system and then we do an initialization um, like this, correct? Can we initialize like this, okay? So for example, uh, can we go ahead and then call some number called, uh, say, I think I should write here, right, okay? So shall I have something known as integer and then I will say b equals to, for example, you know, 0 1 1 1 0 and then this something like this actually correct 0 for example let, let's write some number so that we understand okay so i think a lot of you know that uh, in binary number system this value right so yeah suppose we do like this right so in binary number system you know that this is 2 to the power uh, 0 and then 2 to the power 1 so it's basically it's a 2 it's a value decimal value 2 okay However, you cannot initialize like this because this kind of uh, binary number representation is not uh, there in the C language, right? So we don't have uh, a number uh, represented uh, as a binary number at this point, right? So we cannot initialize uh, like this, okay? All right, so I think uh, you got uh, the idea uh, in this particular, uh, you know, uh, specific problem that we need to understand number system a lot and i hope you enjoyed this particular presentation okay so thank you very much uh, for for being here and uh, i will um, see you in another video